Right, so we've got dry weather effect, which kind of just does nothing. I think that's maybe what we want. So this is the city that we're going to be sieging, and our reinforcements are going to be coming from all the way over here. The logical thought might be, let's attack a gatehouse, because then we can open the gatehouse and let our cavalry in. However, gatehouses tend to have a lot more protection in terms of towers and stuff like that. So I find, actually, the best places to attack are these stretches of wall here that have... Well, this has three towers, but, I mean, they're not... They don't have amazing coverage, so if we can get in there, um, that'll be... That'll be decent. And the walls aren't massive, so... You know, they'll all kind of be stuck in this one area. And then what we can do with our reinforcements is we can bring them up here, and they can flank, um, and hopefully do a little bit extra damage. So we'll leave our centaurs hidden here, for now, in the, in the, in the shrubbery, and bring our main force um let's let's put them here i'm thinking maybe we stick some flanking troops over here uh like these marines as well and they can come in in fact maybe we could bring bring them up up over here and they could do like a really hard flank behind the walls here javelins javelins are javelins are good flanking troops we want javelins to flank and we want our achilles our achilles we want achilles uh, there, front and center. And if this goes terribly wrong, well, we can always just retreat because we have the numbers. Okay. The gods smile. Reinforcements are here. Yeah, and as expected, they consolidated their troops at the gate Victory tip. Victory couldn't see any of our units. enough to taste. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to get right in here. Like that. Straight in. We're going to bring our flanking force up, or our, our reinforcements up into this um, grass here. So they'll, they'll be close to the walls, but they'll also be hidden. Um, and we'll just leave the centaurs here for now, because they can't actually do anything until the gates are um, opened. The enemy forces are streaming out of the middle here. They're going to come down and enforce these walls. So let's see if we can actually beat them to it. And... Um, if we can, if we can avoid this war conflict, this battle is going to be over. Now, the worry with these marines here is they don't have... Um, they don't have any shields, so they will deteriorate. But I've selected this stretch of wall here because it's actually out of sight of these towers. And look, we are already on the walls. We will actually be getting up to these walls before the defenders have even managed it. Let's go. Getting here as well. So we've got some light spearmen coming up here. These are probably the most dangerous um, combats that we'll be facing in this fight. And, and what is a little bit worrying is they are going for our flanking troops over here. Um, how are our other troops doing? Okay, we'll wait till they're consolidating the walls and then we'll get them into. Fighting has begun over here. So we've got the uh, light spearmen fighting the Aegean runners and the yoke spears. And I think we're going to get our champions straight in here. As with the spears, and we'll get Achilles down too. So we are winning this combat ever so slightly, but it's not going to be as much of a stomp, as, a, as much of a roll as I. I'd really like it to be. Let's get Achilles in. Let's just do it. Um, Vanquish. Right here. Achilles is taking some hits. Let's pop his, his, his superpower. And let's support him with our friendly troops here. How are we doing, Achilles? He is winning, definitely. He was a little bit injured before we started this fight. How are, we, how are we doing here? We're winning this fight decisively. Let's get some spearmen in. Let's get our lord in there. And I want to start peppering these islanders, I think. You are about to capture the gates. Oh, yeah, let's capture these gates, actually. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I didn't realize that is actually, um, that's actually an AoE ability. So that will be good for our whole army. You have Man, kept it the gonna get absolutely mashed. 
We've captured the gates. I mean, it might even be a bit pointless at this point, but let's get our uh, centrals in. Pepper, pepper, pepper. Let's get pepper in. Born to battle. You're no warrior. And we've almost got their enemy lord. He is routing. Achilles is just doing what Achilles does best. Um, oh, I didn't even really... I completely forgot about this, but the marines here are actually owning the islanders, even though the marines... I mean, these islanders look way more well-equipped than the uh, marines, but clearly the marines are more experienced. Higher, um... Higher value troops. Oh. Achilles didn't quite kill the enemy lord. I'm gonna pop a buff, and we're gonna go smack him. Finish him off. Take him off guard mode, so we'll chase. Right, what we got going now? Central scouts, go back here. Move our spears up. Ooh, are they coming to us? Okay, we'll hold the lion, hold the lion, hold the lion. Do the pepper in. What's going on? Let's get this charge. <laughs> what the heck, charge? The best defense. And we'll get our scouts to get them there. Right. Consolidate. And continue the push, please. The Lord is dead, I think. And we're going to engage their slingers in melee, which is a terrible idea for them, considering they still have ammo. But I don't think there's much hope for them. <laughs> Entire army at this point. Nice. And we won. And because this is a settlement battle, we don't need to chase down their units. They will all just magically perish. Decisive victory. We did pretty well there. The balance bar wasn't massively in our favor, so if we had auto resolved it, it might have been. Um, Far worse for us, actually. Bonk. There he goes. Decisive victory. Food, bronze, experience. A little bit of gold as well. That's nice. Um, So we kind of need to decide what to do with this settlement. We could occupy it, but I'm honestly tempted to just sack it for now. Because I don't think we're necessarily going to need... I don't know if it's a good idea for us to expand just yet. Um, and we could just steal their food and bronze. And by raiding like this, we can upgrade our own settlements a lot faster. Because um, raiding and attacking... Uh, raiding and, and supplies you get from battle is um, quite a, a fast way, I think, to um, get this stuff. So I think we'll do that for now. We'll get a bit do of replenishment right, in there as well. And we won't take the settlement, but we will severely damage it. Achilles so they'll have the to repair champion. it. It'll be a hit to their economy. A um, long walk ahead. Generally, just Forward what we march. want. In fact, come back here. We're on the Let's move. combine armies. Give Achilles I'll win or die these lads trying. and you come there. Yeah, okay. He's still defended. And look at that. We have a bunch of food. We have a bunch of wood. We don't have any stone income, which is a little bit irritating. And I'm not entirely sure where we're gonna go to get it. Maybe our um, maybe our buddies over here, maybe like Comedies or like Amedes, will uh, be able to help us with that. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. So we could upgrade our boat stands. That'll get us some more food. That might be useful. Um, we could. Victory was never in question. We can't build anything that requires stone. So in our capital, each. Certain capitals have certain special buildings they can get depending on whether they they are in an area that can recruit mythical units, whether they are simply um, just uh, you know like an iconic settlement. Um, so obviously we've got our central plains here, but this is a statue of Achilles that we can recruit, and it's not actually super expensive. We can't afford it right now, but 200 stone is not unreasonable. Neither is 40 gold. It's, eh. It's alright. I think maybe done. we'll build it at some point just because it's a unique building. 
Okay, these war circles. So this is one of our top tier buildings. Um, that's very out of our scope right now. Uh, if we build um, a chieftain's hall. In fact, this is good. This is what we want. Because this will help us get royal decrees as well. This would be good for getting experience for our troops for now. That was a pretty productive turn. We did quite a lot of stuff. We have two unresolved notifications. We've got a skill point for our new guy. So he can get rid of Heracles, a dread of Ares. Rage and melee attack is also good. Heracles is pretty cool. Ares is not cool. We killed him in God of War. Let's go with Heracles. Mission issued. Laying the foundations. Construct any building. Um, oh, and we get a lot of stone for that, which is uh, going to be really useful. Buildings constructed in your cities grant benefits to your faction. More buildings will aid with the development of your kingdom and with the war effort abroad. It only remains to choose what to construct. Um, so we'll get that soon, actually. We'll get that next turn because we have buildings in process. And we actually have enough to upgrade something here. So we could upgrade this to get 200 experience per turn for our units, which might be really useful. Especially if we're all playing Achilles because his um, troops are known for being you know, very skilled in battle. Three, 200 experience per turn for, for units that are just sat there is, is pretty good. We could recruit them in that province and then just leave them there um, to increase for a bit before adding them to our main army. Um, also, growth and food with the boat stands. I think that's what we want to prioritize right now. It is going to use nearly all of our wood though, but I don't think we need to build any more buildings this turn. Growth is, growth is great. Beyond we, growth is great. That's that's how we remember it. Um, so we have obviously suffered some losses here. So maybe we should take a turn to replenish. Get some experience as well. And then come back. The garrison is, is hurt. Um, we could probably hit them again. But Achilles is, is quite wounded. And I don't want to risk him getting bonked really. So... Unless we just siege them. What if we... How are you? Okay, let's... Got a bit of a radical idea here, but we're gonna... Combine the armies. Let Achilles heal for a bit. Moving. Do not anger me. Uh, we'll... We will and we'll, go down we'll in history. keep this settlement busy Bring their death. by uh, besieging it with the other army while Achilles heals. Bring so. the pain. We'll continue Organize that siege. Achilles can go back and rest for a bit. Achilles, the champion. He'll heal pretty fast. And if they attack us, that's kind of their loss, really. They can't replenish because they're being they're under siege. They can't escape because they don't have any um, sort of ports. So uh, you are if they attack us... We'll just absolutely wreck them in the field. So this seems like a good, a good way to um, to keep them under control. Construction available. Uh, yep, we know that. Siege construction available. We know that too. We don't need that. That's fine. Mission successful. Uh, so those buildings were constructed. We got some stuff. Got a new mission. A thriving settlement. Developing a settlement increases the number of buildings that may be constructed within it. Expanding your facilities in this way will greatly improve your ability to defend your borders at home and wage war abroad. A settlement may be developed by upgrading the first building within it. Yep, we know that. Um, and that's, again, we'll get more stone for that. Though I don't... Our main settlement building is already pretty upgraded. And as you can see here, we only have one population surplus and we need four for the next one. So... And a lot of gold as well. So there's, we're not going to complete that quest for a little while, I don't think. It would be good to upgrade our Chieftain's Hall. We'll be able to unlock an Envoy. And also, um, we'll get extra influence, which will be pretty useful. Because um, our influence is... Well, it is increasing, actually. So maybe we don't need to worry about that right now. We can get some Light Spearmen as well, which might actually be more useful for our playstyle than normal Spearmen. Uh, we've got construction available, siege construction available, garrison here, not moved. Uh, I'm going to let Achilles heal for another Noble turn. And, divine. and in fact, while he's doing that, let's recruit someone. Let's go with some more Fatian Spheres. And that will cost quite a lot of bronze, but the upkeep's right not away. massive, so 
I think we can afford it right now. And how about we go with some more slingers, maybe? Let's go with some more slingers. They're cheap. Um, they're really good for hitting other um, ranged units. And we've completed a quest here. A King's Decree. So we issued a Royal Decree. And the growth one. So we get a bit of, bit of stuff here. And we also finished this one. So we get a bit more bronze. The Returned. He went as a pilgrim hermit. One of the elder priests of Poseidon. From uh, Tainaron. Tainaron. Uh, that boy's name who I'm not attempting to pronounce. Then returned as one altogether different. Whenever he went... The people told of how at night, in the light of the torches, his shadow appeared many-limbed and many-headed. Around him sometimes burst out screams and brazen flashes, uh, clashes, sorry, seemingly out of nowhere, like something half heard, half remembered. Other priests have now told you of his terrifying transgression. He has chained the shades of warriors, uh, their bones unburied to his own shadow, and he is at threshold of your lands. Wow, so we can just get these guys? So these are one of the... Um, Medical units. King. What was the... Is there a mission attached to that? Oh, I see. No, we can't get those yet. We have to defeat him. And he is here. Now, these it. guys are heckin' tough, I will say, right now. So, we probably don't want to mess with them just yet. The spearmen that we will get from beating him will be really Master tough, but... At the same time, I don't know if it's worth it right now for Ultimate us to go warrior. ahead and do that. So, Achilles is basically fully Great healed. Achilles. We're going to consolidate with our army. And I think we'll go for Lord another siege here. So, I'm going to leave him with the um, centaurs because they can't actually do anything yet. And, I mean, look at that aura resolve. We could just aura resolve it. I'm tempted to. Um, we'll get a front line going here. As you can see here, the arrow towers are focusing on our spearmen here. Yeah, we are absolutely annihilating these guys in the walls here. This campaign, like, even though the Agamemnon campaign is supposed to be, like, the easy... It says it's easy. This has been so much easier already, and we're only, like, four turns in. Get in there. There we go. There we go, he's found him. <laughs> hey. So... We have an interesting choice here. We can sack or raise the settlement. Now, sacking is really not going to give us very much, but we could raise it and build it up later. The only problem with that is then it leaves it open to other factions taking it, and I don't really know if we want that to happen right now, so I think I'm going to sack it. Um, which, honestly, is going to make it, like... Not completely threatening anyway. Is what a legend looks like. 